Paul and Rachel Chandler, you'll remember, were captured by Somali pirates back in October 2009, and they were held for more than a year before their release. Our security correspondent, Frank Gardner, is currently on a merchant boat in the Gulf of Aden, and I spoke to him just a few minutes ago. Well, right now, I'm looking at two continents. I'm looking at uh, Africa on the, the left and Asia on the right. We're passing through the Babel Mendev Strait that separates Djibouti from Yemen. And uh, I'm on a huge, great big merchant tanker, one of thousands that cross through this choke point every year. And it's a very pirate-infested area. And, in fact, we've had a suspected pirate contact just a short while ago. Um, two suspected, oh, or skiffs, as they're called, very fast boats, crossed our bow, so they, they put on the foghorn. Um, I don't know if you can hear the hissing noise in the background. That's the, um, the water hoses that they're putting out. The security team that we've got on board rushed uh, to alert, and they went out onto the bridge wings and waved their weapons in the air. They didn't have to open fire. They just waved the weapons to show any potential attackers that we've got an armed team on board and that this is not a ship worth attacking. I know that you've covered many stories of piracy. I, I guess at a time like that, Frank, you, you must have people like the Chandlers in mind. It, it, it sounds frightening. Well, it, it probably sounds more frightening than it actually is. I mean, I'm, I, to be honest, Anita, I would not be on this ship if it didn't have an armed team because there's a 100% record, safety record on that. No ship with any armed security on board has yet been taken. I mean, there's always the first, and I hope I'm not the first, but... But that record's pretty good. The Chandlers, of course, were unarmed. They were a couple from Tunbridge Wells who were seized on their yacht um, off the Seychelles, and they were completely defenceless. Um, so this area is considered far too dangerous to go in by yacht. Um, there are still ships traversing this area without armed security. There are other measures they can do, like barbed wire coils, um, electrified fences, firing flares, evasive action, speeding up, things like that. Um, so... You know, still the chances of being pirated are very, very small. But nevertheless, there are an awful large number of Somali pirates crisscrossing these waters and lying in wait, hiding amongst fishing fleets and waiting to prey on vulnerable shipping. Um, and there has been an incident just north of here uh, where a few minutes ago some pirates fired on a merchant ship. At the same time, we're just getting a report that an Indian dhow has been hijacked with 15 sailors on board just to the east of where we pass through. So a lot of action in this area. Uh, there's Frank Gardner there. I know Anita, Frank's been tweeting a lot of pictures, hasn't he, from the scene. What's his, what's his uh, yeah, Twitter address? Absolutely, absolutely worth uh, taking. Absolutely worth taking a look there. Uh, it's uh, Frank R. Gardner. Uh, that's his Twitter handle, so do have a look. Frank R. Gardner.